In the previous video, you have got the idea of what is pattern finding, which is one of the major tasks of machine learning. Now, in this video, let us know a brief history of machine learning, when the field started and how did it evolve. So, machine learning is not a very new field. The how to make the machine understanding the situation and uh, do some automated tasks has fantasized the human mind from long back. But the actual machine learning, uh, the scientific uh, discoveries started from 1943 when the neurophysicist Warren McCullough and mathematician Walter Pitts wrote their first paper on human neurons working principle, I mean mathematical working principle. And uh, uh, given the, after that, uh, in 1950, Alan Turing created the world famous Turing test where a computer has to convince a human that it is not a computer. And so, this way with the disco with this type of discoveries and invention and interest machine learning started advancing but one of the very great breakthrough happened in 1958 when scientist frank rosenblatt created the first neural network called uh, perceptron and uh, well followed by Rosenblatt's discovery, Barnard Widrow and Martian Hoff created another neural network model at Stanford University. And after these discoveries, uh, machine the field of machine learning got suppressed for several decades for many different reasons. And then the field again started surging uh, in the decade of uh, 80s and 90s. Uh, when Japan basically announced their interest on advancing neural network, creating more researches in this area. In this time frame, a major breakthrough invention was in 1986 when the back, back propagation algorithm was proposed at Stanford University. And uh, in the similar, uh, uh, in this uh, decade, uh, in 1997, these uh, IBM actually made their uh, first deep blue computer, which was basically a chase playing computer. So with all these discovery, machine learning started having their, its uh, baby steps. However, because of several limitations, it was not getting much traction in the community. The limitations were the algorithms that were being proposed were extremely slow and not only the algorithm on the other hand the computational power was also limited for example the cpus were not uh, so advanced as it is now the memory size were was limited so there were bottleneck in two different slides the algorithms were slow also the computational power was limited so the industry folks could not analyze much data to extract knowledge and which was the biggest reason uh, machine learning did not find much real application and consequently uh, it did not get much traction in the community at those that time then in 21st century two different things happened the hardware became more powerful. For example, Intel started uh, its uh, high performance processor line like Xeon, uh, Xeon Phi, etc. IBM uh, developed their power processor line, made it sign significantly powerful. Nvidia started making uh, the GPU hardware and they started advancing and invested a lot. Uh, memory size and memory bandwidth also increased. And not only the hardware, uh, on the other side, this deep neural network has been proposed, making the prediction much more accurate and faster. So, one, the several, this, several advances in the hardware side and some advances in the software side. 
both these things had a huge impact. With the fast hardware and fast software tools, now it is possible to analyze large set of big data from which the industry can get some knowledge, extract some knowledge and uh, consequently can make their profit. So at this point of time, because of these uh, two and because of the advances in both hardware and software and algorithm, uh, machine learning found a lots of real world applications from where the major companies got benefited. And from here onwards, the machine learning started its journey and now it is everywhere. Some of the most noted things are like in 2012, Google Brain was proposed. In the same year, AlexNet was proposed, which won the ImageNet competition, analyzing almost 1.2 million images utilizing a faster algorithm on top of GPU. Then in 2014, DeepFace was proposed by Facebook. In, in the same year, DeepMind made AI agent to play many video games at the same levels of human accuracy. And in 2015, OpenAI was founded by Elon Musk. And uh, in 2015, ResNet was proposed improving the deep neural network. So lots of discoveries happened and the virtuous cycle started. Like. Uh, machine learning was able to analyze more data, extracting more knowledge, benefiting the industry people. And the industry people, more it was benefiting the industry people, industry people were getting more interest in machine developing machine learning algorithms and advancing the hardware. So this is when the virtuous cycle started and machine learning is nowadays widespread and being used by everyone.